Well everyone, we have our first Volta GPU, the Tesla V100, but does this have any implications on gaming? Plus, we've got some new leaks on the rumored 16 core 32 thread Ryzen HEDT CPU, so stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. Nvidia had their keynote at GTC and announced the very first Volta GPU. It's called the Tesla V100 and it's a monster. I'm talking both computational power as well as physical size. The chip comes in at 815mm squared. That's a big jump from the Tesla P100's 610mm squared and even bigger when compared to the 1080Ti's die size of 471mm squared. Now, it's important before we get into specs that this isn't a GTX card. The workloads of higher learning HPC chips are different and therefore require different specs than that of consumer cards for gaming. With that said, we might be able to get a slight idea of what to expect when comparing it to the latest gen Tesla, the P100. Personally, I just think it's interesting to discuss. Going back to the chip itself, the GV100 is the first to use the new 12 nanometer FinFET manufacturing process. It also crams in a whopping 21.1 billion transistors and 5,376 CUDA cores compared to the GP100's 15.3 billion transistors and 3,584 CUDA cores. Both the new V100 and older P100 come with 16GB of HBM2 memory, but the V100 has an insane 900GB per second bandwidth versus the P100's 720GB per second. This is thanks to the higher speed of the new Volta GPU clocked to 878 MHz to the P100 737 MHz. Now, when it comes to compute performance as it relates to gaming, FP32 computes are what's important. Once again though, don't buy this for gaming, please. With that out of the way, the new Tesla V100 has 15 teraflops of FP32 computational power compared to the P100's 10.6 teraflops. There's definitely a much bigger jump going from the P100 to the V100 than going from the 8.74 teraflops of the Tesla K80 to the P100. So that's nice considering performance jumps look to be slowing down quite a bit over the generations. The V100 is also more efficient as it's able to utilize this power while maintaining the same 300 watts TDP, well at least for the standard dual slot design. While that mostly covers some important aspects of the car, that's not all the specs, so if you're interested in every detail of the GV100, I'll have a couple links for you to check out in the description. Next up is some interesting leaks that just dropped regarding Ryzen's rumored, and more than likely true, 16-core CPUs. They're supposedly going to be officially announced at the upcoming Computex. The new leaks are showing off two 16-core, 32-thread CPUs running at a base clock of 3100 MHz and a boost of 3600 MHz. That's, um, how do I put it, unbelievable considering these are 16-core processors. It's quite clear AMD wants to come swinging if these leaks really do represent upcoming HEDT processors. So while I know that's a really short video, what do you think of the new V100? Do you think it's a fantastic jump from the previous P100? And is AMD going hog wild with the rumored HEDT CPUs? Let me know in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.